Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my August TBR um, with Deck of TBR as usual. Um, I will. I did make a few changes to the board, which I will get into in just a second. Um, the but I do want to touch on how I did last month, which spoiler alert was not good. It was it was not good. Um, I had seven books on my TBR, two of them. So Arcadia and Dunbar, I did not get to, which means I also didn't get to King Lear. Um, I also didn't get to the, the library book, which I had two options for, and that's because neither of those books ever came in at the library. Um, they've been on order for over a month, and I think they're just having a hard time getting a hold of them. Um, so when those come in, eventually I will read them, but as of right now, they still aren't in. Um, and I didn't read any other library books this month, so I can't even just sub something in. I did, however, read, so I read these, so I read both of the Persephone, or Persephilis, um, graphic novels. I also read A Psalms for the Wild Built and Under the Rainbow, and then I read and DNF'd The Doll's Alphabet, so this one... <laughs> just scared myself <laughs> so I barely had this as a doorstop to keep the door closed and when I picked it up the door moved and scared the crap out of me anyways appropriate because the reason I DNF'd this is because it was weird and creepy and I was just not a fan so it is a disappointment in that this was the independent press press for the month and I did sort of peruse their other offerings to see if there's anything that I might want to read in its place and I just wasn't really interested in anything so that is that. Now about the changes that I made for this month um, the main one is that I replaced the aces prompt which was my overall TBR jar with Arc August so it's a nice little handwritten <laughs> prompt tag up there um, because Arc August is a thing and also I have a couple of arcs that I need to get to before the year is out. Um, one of them is in September and then it's October and November so want to get those out of the way as soon as I can. All books that I'm very interested in so um, I, that's why I've sw swatched, swapped, <laughs> swapped that out. Um, I did go ahead and swap out the um, prompt here for the Joker book. I forgot to do that on camera. It was Hollands, Lee Smith, Annie Dillard, Dillard and the Hollands group. Um, it is now Go Tell It on the Mountain. So that is where the board stands. That is really the only update was the Arc August thing. And then I did add a couple of prompts to the bag. This month, um, most of those were kind of like things that can happen, less m more so than um, ways to choose other books. So things like remove a book and redraw, or plus one draw, or minus one draw, something like that. Um, and then the last one that I specifically want to touch on is I have a prompt in there that is for... Um, transgender YA recommendations jar and that is this um, so this is something I got off Etsy which I thought was a really clever thing um, someone who went to my university has an Etsy shop they are a librarian and they have these little jars and then the little origami stars inside are each an individual book recommendation and there were a couple of different options I chose the one for transgender YA fiction and yeah, I'm excited for these recommendations. I'm sure I've read some of them, but I'm also sure I have not read this much transgender YA fiction. So there are going to be some great recommendations in here for me. Um, I will put the link to the Etsy shop down below if you are interested, um, because I just think this is a cute, clever thing. All right, so no prompts to replace because I did that at the end of the previous game. So we can get right into picking the five books that I'm going to be reading in the month of August. All right, so our first one is gonna be The Six of Clubs. All right, so Six of Clubs is fast paced, 
which is great. Love a fast paced book. Um, this does mean that I need to get out the laptop and um, check my story graph because this is one of those prompts that requires me to sort my owned books on story graph. Um, and I did actually update my owned books yesterday, though I don't think that it encompasses every book on my physical shelf just because the number doesn't seem to match my other spreadsheets. So let us take a look at what's on my own shelf. All right, so I will do a screen sharey thing here. And yeah, so we are on my owned books filter thing on there. And then we're going to filter this by pace, the fast pace, leave all of the rest of it unchecked. And let's see what we get. I was kind of hoping that would be on there. Um, so the first book is very appealing. It comes out, it actually came out on Tuesday. Um, and it's the second book in the Neo G series by KB Wagers big fan of their books, so that's definitely high on the priority list. We also have a ton of Animorphs. Acadia is on here again, which I wouldn't be mad about that. Um, definitely interested in that graphic novel. Could circle back to a great offshore grounds. And then we're kind of getting into some of the books that have been on my list for a long time. Still haven't read Embers of War. This is not going to be that TBR. So I think I am between Hold Fast Through the Fire by KB Wagers and Acadia. So let's, where's my phone? We're gonna do a random, yeah, we're gonna let it, we're gonna let Siri decide. Random number between one and two. Siri chose one. So that means we're going to be adding Hold Fast Through the Fire by KB Wagers to this TBR. Um, I don't have the physical book yet. It's actually potentially coming today. I don't know if that's the one coming today or not, but it will be here this week. So, all right, let's replace that with free space. That's exciting because that means anything. Add free space. We will shuffle this up. See what we get. All right. So the first one, I mean second one, is going to be nine of clubs. So nine of clubs is a book. Ooh, a book on a prize short list. Um. This would have been convenient last, no, month before last. Let me take a look and see what prize shortlists I have and I'm interested in and what books I have that have been on those. I'm embarrassed with how long that took me. Granted, I stopped to do something else too because I got distracted, but um, yeah. So Washington Black, because it was on the Booker shortlist forget which year 2019 maybe I don't know it was on a short list for the booker so this is what I'm gonna be reading I started this at one point wasn't crazy about the audiobook at the time so um, yeah I've been looking forward to reading this one in physical form so this is going on the list all right let's take a look we're gonna replace it with under height And then we're going to shuffle. Everything's a mess over here. <laughs> um, I went through a ton of different prize lists um, to find that. I narrowed it down to three um, that I had access to. Whoop. But ultimately, that is the one that won. All right. So we're shuffled. And we have the Ten of Hearts. Which is slow paced. We're getting all of the um, ones that require research. Let's take a look and see what the story graph has for us for slow paced. 
All right, so my battery died in the process of all of that. So um, now we are, we have story graph up again. We're looking at the same own books page and we're going to sort this time instead of by fast paced, we're gonna sort by slow pace or filter by slow pace and see what we have. All right, so, ooh. It's funny, there's a couple on, on here that um, I considered for other things. Ah, okay. So we're not going to do a classic, that's absolutely for sure. Um, we, I think I already saw the one I want to go with, so we're just scrolling for the sake of scrolling at this point. Okay, yes. So we're going to go with Clara in the Sun. This is a book that I have been anticipating a lot. It has to do with artificial intelligence and um, I don't know. I haven't had the best, I will say, luck with Ishiguro. It's hit or miss, and but the premise of this one sounds like something that I will really like. So this is what we're going to read for Slow Paste. What are we going to replace it with? Friend pick. That's fun. All right, so I already put it in there. <laughs> so let's shuffle this up. We are on pick number four. And we have Eight of Hearts, which is, ooh, Queer Reads. So the spirit of this is to go on Instagram and scroll and see if you like what comes up I'll take a look and see what comes up but honestly I may cheat and pick something I know is a queer read that I'm really really excited to get to and yeah let's take a look and see what I see on Instagram if I don't see anything that just jumps out at me that I already own then I already know what I'm gonna go with I, I did I did see a different one um where is that book <laughs> Hold on, let me grab it. All right, so this is the picture that I saw, um, and this is the book that I'm going to be reading because I adored Le uh, You Should See Me in a Crown. It's one of my favorite books of 2020, and I still think about it on occasion. Um, so I was very excited about this, pre-ordered it, so I can't resist. Also, it's very summery, so I do want to read it in August before we start getting into fall, so. Yes, this is getting added to my TBR. It is a queer sapphic, it's a sapphic romance um, that is revolves around a music festival. So, okay, let's replace that one with gifted. That's fun. All right, I already popped it back in there. Hopefully, hopefully I can get, um, the book I was going to use as a cheat for that one on there because I really want to read it. So we have Three of Spades. Uh, okay, book with a romance. Let's see what I can do. I can do this. Okay, this is what I'm going to be reading for that. This is Light from Uncommon Stars. Not going to try to pronounce the name without looking it up. Um, this is the author. This was sent to me so kindly by Tor.com and I am very excited about this. It comes out in September and um, it's basically a story about three women. Um, so it is a musician who made a deal with the devil a runaway trans violinist and a retired starship captain turned donut shop owner. So there's there's a lot in there, um, but it does say on the back, queer alien courtship over fresh made donuts. So we're gonna say that's that's enough romance in there for me. So this is this is getting added on there, and I cannot wait to read this. I'm very very excited. All right, I'm gonna 
add the prompt back to the board. So finish a series is going up there. And yeah, this was actually a pretty exciting one. Um, so I have a lot of new books on here. Um, and then the last one is Hold Fast Through the Fire. Hold Fast Through the Fire by KB Wagers, which actually it looks like it's going to be here tomorrow. So yes, those are going to be the five books that I am going to try to read in August. Um, this is also, so Dewey's 24 Hour Readathon, Reverse Readathon, is on I think the 6th of August. So um, not clear if I'll be reading any of these or if I'm just going to do like a just hardcore reading Animorphs books to try to get through some more of those because um, I'm almost to the halfway point in the overarching series. Um, so I might do that or a combination of that and one of these books for the reverse of on. Um, and then I also have um, Mid-Month Book Bash second weekend in August maybe and I am going tentatively we're gonna have to watch the situation of the world tentatively gonna be going on a mini uh, vacation with my husband that would allow me to go to my favorite bookstore in the world um, so hopefully that doesn't get canceled but you know safety first so that is it for this August TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have read any of these, let me know um, if you like them. If you made it this far, then put your favorite card suit emoji in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.